On October 20th, 2017, the world's leading corporate stars reunited for a special occasion, the 37th Le Fonti Awards in London. A celebration, Le Fonti Awards are held each year, recognizing industry leaders in the fields of banking, business, economics, finance, sustainability, law, healthcare, insurance and e-commerce. This year, the London Gala and CEO Summit was held at the London Stock Exchange, a prestigious location situated in the city of London, hosted by the influential journalist Jenny Hammond of Sky. Okay, next up we have Lawyer of the Year, White Collar Crime, Italy. That's Guido Carlo Aleva from Aleva and Associati. If you'd like to come on up, that's for his deep and complete understanding of corporate and financial crimes, especially in the banking sector, so he's obviously had his hands full, as well as for having assisted one of the major rating agencies against the charge of market manipulation, obtaining acquittal of all defendants. Lawyer Aleva is nowadays a strong point of reference in Italy in this field. I am extremely glad and honored for this for this award and a little bit moved by by my, my good friend uh, Guglielmo Giordanengo. I only to say that if one become a lawyer of the year, uh, the next steps would be uh, I'm conscious of that, could be only either to retire and <laughs> become a good winemaker, for example, somewhere in the country. Uh, or to become the lawyer of the century. And both of them seem to be a bit difficult to me. Thank you. Well, I'm now joined by Guido Alerva. So welcome and congratulations. Thank you very much. You're here at the La Fonte Awards for winning, if I'm not wrong, as Lawyer of the Year, White Collar Crime in Italy. So I imagine you've had your hands full. But uh, what would you say is the key to your success? Oh, well, I'm extremely honored for this award. Uh, I have to say I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful to my partners and associates who uh, really do a great job daily. Your law firm, it's a point of reference in Italy for knowledge and experience. I've got that written down here in corporate and financial crimes, as we said, having your hands full. So can you explain how cri criminal law is evolving with regards to economic and social changes? Globalization means a lot from the point of view of markets yeah. and economy, generally speaking. So we can say there is a global market. It's difficult to avoid thinking about a global market. Unfortunately, um, the rules all over the world are not the same. Yeah. Um, the judicial system, the legal systems, continue to be uh, to, to be based on their own principles, yeah. and they reserve the right to establish what is a crime and what is not a crime, and this unfortunately creates big problems uh, in, in, in the situations which are uh, cross-border. And so can you imagine, I don't know, banking or financial activities based in London, working on a global market uh, with uh, uh, Italian sides, American sides, Chinese sides. This creates problems. And we, it's a, incredibly complicated. It's also a cultural problem. Yeah. And for us lawyers, there is the duty to try to be also mediators mm. from a cultural point of view. And uh, it is clear that the world will go to a globalized ruling. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it's not sure. So then, among your cases of last year, there was an acquittal from the charge of market manipulation. So, what are the sanctions of this crime in Italy and, and in Europe? Uh, in Italy, sanctions are very serious, yeah. but they are based on the European, the European directive. Uh, giving you an example for market manipulation, uh, you can be sanctioned for a penalty for jail mm. up to 12 years which means a serious 
serious criminal offence and serious penalties. Yeah. This is quite the same all over the Europe, of all over the European countries, uh, not only European Union countries, but also the others. Because market manipulation affects, uh, I, would, I would say, all the, to all the market, and and European Union tried uh, to afford the problem uh, in, in a uniform, anyway, in a, in a coordinated way. All over the this is the same also for the United States, in which uh, market manipulation is very serious. 